Good morning, good afternoon guys, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi and I say BAM a lot of times with my Bitcoin cap, I believe in Bitcoin and today a short TA video, hmm, while we're drinking a good cup of coffee, this one is a Douwe Egberts coffee from the Netherlands, yes there's a Dutch store in Portugal, Abufera, that sells the traditional Dutch coffee, Douwe Egberts, hmm, cool charts today guys um, it's going to be short because i have some stuff to do today and it has to do with blockchain village and filming but let's go into the charts quickly because else you get sick of me talking too long in this interval again bam frozen that was me hesitating guys here we have this beautiful job um, maybe I should make the chart a little bit bigger like this and then we can see the four hour chart and on this four hour chart you can see that we were trying to create a new high that I talked about in the weekend this one I told you guys we need to go there because then we have a high higher high and another higher high and we were doing this, we tried, we tried, we broke out the red channel, we went all the way up and bam, we found resistance over there. And then we came back now to over there. Now we should go back and try to break that red line again and when we break it, we should be still able to reach it all the way to there. This red line, I will double click it so that you see what it is. And then you also see how Oryx works. It's a style of red. The input is a 200. So this is the 200 moving average on a four hour chart. And this 200 moving average is always an important line and um, that we have as a resistance or as a support. And the moment it becomes resistance, it becomes important that we break it. Look here in the left, just to show you, we had, we broke it over there and then this line became support over there. You see, we always had support. Even there, we broke it, but back support, support. So we break it, and then it becomes resistance. And we can't break it anymore, and then we fall down. So the moment we are able to break this one and stay above it, that is the moment that on the four hour chart, I can see us going up to this second line of resistance. This is diode, di di <laughs> this downward coming line um, here, the dotted line. Because that one is the one that we need to break in the longer term, like the, around the 40k. But now, zoomed in, we first need to break that 200 um, day, uh, the 200 f moving average on the 4 hour. And you can see that it is now working as a huge resistance. Even here we peaked above it, bam, down. And now we need to break it. Um, on the other hand, if we don't go up and we would go into that red channel again, here this is the green and the red channel the cross if we would cross down guys yes i can see us falling back again to this green area of 30k i don't hope that will happen i hope we will keep creating higher lows because that is what we are doing at the moment let's see we have a low a little bit higher low a little bit higher low and this should be also a higher low so we should find support over here very very exciting times now in the next couple of hours because again this is a four hour candles but this is an exciting area we need to bounce up again and that all has to do this drop and of course could all have to do not has or could all have to do bam with this one because if you look at the cme gap that one is around 33,650. So we close Friday at six o'clock at 33,650. So the suits, they woke up this morning and they wanna bring the price back to that level. Are we almost at that level? 30,600 is exactly at that cross level. So that is where we go and maybe then the suits, they wake up with a good cup of coffee like mine and they bring Bitcoin up again to the level where Bitcoin belongs. Ethereum, guys, let's jump into Ethereum. Ethereum is uh, showing you the same. Very short, I didn't say bam, bam, let's jump into Ethereum. 
Um, Ethereum, we have also have that red line. There's also the four hour chart. The red line is a 200 and the green line is the 50. So we can see that the 50 is trying to cross that red line, which is very positive. Of course, that it's what they call the golden cross, but on the four hour, not as important as the day chart, I know, but still it's a golden cross on the four hour. Ethereum broke above this red line, which is really bullish, more bullish than Bitcoin, and is now testing the support on that red line. The first candle kept support. This four hour candle still needs to close. Um, and this one needs to keep support. And let's see that for our candle is, um, why did it shut off again? Countdown, in 25 minutes. So in 25 minutes, Ethereum should be above this level of 2,284 to have support on this 200 moving average on the four hour chart. Ethereum looking very healthy. I, I really like that it broke that one but it needs to keep support there and this one starts to need to go up to cross over there guys another chart bam back to bitcoin if we go to bitcoin this is again the chart i showed, showed you many times it's the the death cross and uh, the golden cross like you can see look at all the other videos i told you the crash happens before the cross then when the cross happens the price is already going up like you can see the left on the bottom the crash 10th of May happens before the cross, the bearish cross, and the price is going up. I will just keep updating you on this chart because I need this price to keep going up. And when it keeps going up, then it could take all the way to 60 days, which is the 15th of August, to make a new bullish cross on this daily chart. And a bullish cross on the daily chart, these golden lines, that mostly is an indication of the mark going up. So that's why I keep updating you on this chart really cool but let's go to the next one bam that was the daily bam this is the five day chart yes you know you saw this also um, uh, on crypto crew university uh, i think i saw it the first time a year ago on, on steve's channel i like steve's channel crypto crew university and i saw the gaussian channel on his channel the gaussian channel on his channel bam diddy okay <laughs> um, i since then i keep track of this and i keep updating you because it's important normally to close the candles above that Gaussian channel and we didn't we went into it and we are now around that midline and that midline again is causing some support we should be getting out of this greenish channel as soon as possible and these candles yes they indicate that we are going to go up or want to go up because it's a long downward wick and a body smaller body and a long wick now even creating a smaller body and a long wick which mostly indicates the market wants to reverse and then we need to try and break the 40k and then stay above that again because that is very bullish when we stay in this one we could be pulled all the way down to the bottom and that's the 24k that everybody is watching and there's also the bottom of the logarithmic growth curve that we have been watching which you can see on bam this one yes you can see all the numbers they just coalide they all fall together because if we look at this um, weekly chart uh, the logarithmic growth curve the bottom is around 20 21 22k at the moment but it will be going up to 24k at this point over there so all these numbers they are like close to each other on the weekly chart this is not bullish this is very bearish this is like one two three four five six seven eight red weekly candles we haven't seen that before uh, in a bull run we haven't just let's be honest we haven't look look at the bull run of uh, 2017 here we had one, two candles, or one, two weeks, or maybe here in the beginning, three weeks red. The rest was green. We haven't seen such a long red period in a bull run. Even not in the 2013 bull run, the one that I am comparing mostly with this one, I think even there, in the bull run, we had one, two, three, four, five, six red candles. Ah, yeah, here. In 2013, after the first reach up the top, we had six red candles. But then the next one was green. And from that moment, touching that yellow line, we came up to create a new top. So yes, in 2013, we had six candles. And now, how much do we have? How many do we have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, already two more than 2013. So we need to turn around, guys. If we don't turn around, yes, we could go bearish again, but who knows? Um, you know, we just need to tie to trade all of that stuff. And yes, even if we zoom out to the monthly, that is this one. Do I like the monthly? No, I don't like the monthly. I don't like three red months in a bullish period. Um, because that, if you look that back to 2017, every month was green we only had green months and then we had the red months and that was the start of the bear run bear time so in 2013 we only had one red month and then we had green months so no nobody can tell me here 11 we had many more but that was the bear t run bear time as well so this is not positive we need to turn around this month needs to go away uh, above we have around uh, 26 days to make this candle green and to make it green we need to close above 41,000 no i'm lying above 41,000 dollar easy that's what we need to do we have 26 days <laughs> let's see if we reach that um guys bam one more thing look um I'm going to end this time with this because I don't want to start every time because you want first information. Now back to Oryx where I show you a short two minute update on how the Bam Bam indicator did it. Let's see, we go to Bam, this one over here. So we had that long, we talked about the long for a few days, we took the long, we took profits. Now the Bam also said DD warning short flag. At the same time we saw that we were touching that 200 line. Here we close down below the yellow stepping line. The bam bam crossed the white line. Do we see any more negative stuff? Yes, we saw a red dot and the yellow starts over there and the red line is on top over there. So that's a lot of indication of a short. You could have taken that short, but you could also have seen that this 50 MA is coming up and that this 100 MA, the red line is also somewhere in the mid of that cloud. So the short, that you could take there could be a short of like maybe only 2.5 percent if we fall back to the bottom of that cloud which we normally calculate that would be a six percent short so let's see how the short plays out in the next two days i think it will take two days to find or support on this yellow or green line and if not we could fall to the bottom of that blue cloud that is how you trade the bam bam indicator but again profit over there you could take profit now over here but you can stay in it as well and um, that is i think everything for today bam yes a short video because i want to keep them short thanks for watching this video mm. coffee is by uh, almost finished if you did like this video please give the view a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave the comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the market what do you think about our eggbats coffee what do you think about my head? What do you think about the BAM? What do you think about the tattoo? And what do you think kind of tattoo should be here? Thanks for watching and see you later guys with a family video again and then tomorrow morning back with the A BAM!